It's summer 2023, and we don't even know everything about this year's LEGO releases, but that hasn't stopped us from learning quite a bit about the company's 2024 offerings. In this video, I'm going to list 10 early 2024 sets that really intrigue me, ranging in price and theme, while also considering some investment potential. Before we get into this list, it is current as of early August of 2023 and only contains sets for which we know the name and price. Space is a consistent sub-theme of the City Line, and next year we're getting more such sets. One of them is the modular Space Station, coming in at $100 for 1,097 pieces. Now this won't be like a modular building, but I think looking at the price, it might be similar to 2022's Lunar Research Base, which is a pretty highly rated set on Brickset at 4.3. There are a number of very intriguing Star Wars sets listed for the first half of 2024. At the top of this list for me is the MIDI scale Millennium Falcon, coming in at $80 and 921 pieces. Ignore the unusually strong price per piece ratio for a Star Wars set for just a moment, because these sets tend to have a lot of small pieces. This is the first MIDI-scaled Millennium Falcon since 2009, which was just 356 pieces. And LEGO did a nice job with this year's Executor Superstar Destroyer, which currently has a 4.4 rating on Brickset. While I would also expect this set to appreciate in value after retirement, the expected lack of minifigs will certainly reduce its return on investment. Hey, be sure to like this video if you're excited for the continued rejuvenation of the mini-scaled Star Wars sets. Oh, and by the way, yes, there will be some more Star Wars sets on this list, so stay tuned. We've received information regarding a bevy of 2024 friend sets, and the Heart Lake shopping mall particularly stands out to me. You'll get 1,237 pieces for $120, and this will be the largest friends mall ever. We built and reviewed the 2021 version, so while we probably won't get this one, it promises to have an abundance of play features and some creative building techniques. That said, I'm more interested in learning if there will be another Friends Modular in 2024. Over in the Creator line, the Retro Camera definitely jumps out to me. With 261 pieces for $20, it represents a typical solid value for a Creator set. However, it is not the LEGO Ideas Polaroid, but could be a less expensive foray into such source material. Speaking of the Polaroid, this one will be available on January 1st, 2024. The Ideas version that was approved looks incredible, but at just over 500 pieces for $80, it's not ideal for those who like a strong price per piece ratio. I'm guessing this set will have a lot of large printed elements and possibly some specialized pieces to justify that price. A second Star Wars set on this list is the Tanta V4 Boarding Diorama at 502 pieces and $50. I love this scene in Episode 4, and many of these Star Wars dioramas look fantastic. The predominantly white walls of the ship's interior, with what should be a Darth Vader minifig hulking in the entrance, all on a black brick-built display base, is definitely intriguing to me. Buildable figures strike me as a bit hit and miss in general, but two that I like in terms of execution are I Am Groot and Venomize Groot. As such, I'm intrigued by the prospect of a buildable rocket raccoon. At $55 and 566 pieces, this could be a pretty good deal. If this, as the price piece count suggests, is more like the Groot sets, it could also be a solid investment. Rocket Raccoon will be joined by some other buildable figures in the sub-theme, but this one strikes me as the most interesting of the lot. In terms of investment potential, the smaller brick-built Toy Story sets from 2010 have done decently on the aftermarket, with the buildable Buzz Lightyear set up about 350% above its original retail price.
Another creator set that jumps out to me is the roller skate. This should be a unique concept as we've never had a roller skate in set form before. Will it be like the Adidas shoe from 2021 that I honestly didn't like all that much? Now at $30 and 342 pieces, this set will be about half the number of pieces as that Adidas shoe, so I'm guessing it will be built at a smaller scale. However, one thing we do know is that it's going to be much more colorful than a typical white or black roller skate. There have been a number of Ninjago temples produced over the years, including 2023's Temple of Dragon Energy Cores. In March of 2024, we're supposed to get the Dragonstone Temple, which allegedly comes with 1,212 pieces for $120. This set should replace the Ninja Dojo Temple, which is set to retire at the end of December. The Dragonstone Temple is intriguing to me for a couple of reasons. First, prior Ninjago temples of this piece count, such as the original Fire Temple from 2011, tend to be pretty highly rated on brick set and are some great looking sets. However, it won't be as big as the Temple of Air Jitsu, which is the highest rated Ninjago temple on Brickset, coming in at a 4.6. Still, this could be a strong investment potential, as the Fire Temple and Temple of Air Jitsu have both gained considerable value on the aftermarket. Finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my nine-year-old's pick for this list, and that is yet another Star Wars set. This time, it's Grogu's Escape, which is supposed to arrive on shelves on May 1st and will cost $30. We don't yet know its piece count, but we typically get one Mandalorian set in this price range each year, and I would anticipate it will come with about 250 pieces or so, and of course, some sort of Grogu minifig. So there you have 10 early 2024 LEGO sets that I am intrigued by. And we'll be finding out more details for even more sets in the coming weeks and months, so stop back in for more updates. Thanks for watching, and always remember to keep building together.